Hey, this is Peggy with Easy Peasy Machine Embroidery. Today we're going to be talking about the Premier Plus Ultra software, specifically the sketch module. And don't forget to subscribe and like. And if you need to tell me anything in the comments, go ahead. Um, remember, I'm just an amateur. I'm not professional by any means. I just do this for a group of ladies I work with. So be nice. And we'll continue on to the lesson. So the first thing I want you to do is go down in the lower left-hand corner of your Premier Plus software screen. And right there is a pencil with a little uh, marker trail coming off of it. I want you to click on that. And we're going to start with the Load Design Wizard. So we're going to load a picture for a new embroidery. And I got my picture out of the Creative Commons section of Google. If you need to see how to do that, uh, I believe I have a video on getting pictures from Google out of the Creative Commons. And when you get a picture out of the Creative Commons, it's nice to give the person that made the picture some kind of credit. So. Here, I can change my hoop. Um, I'm generally going to use a 200 by 200 hoop, but I like to make my hoop size for this 150. That way, if I want to add a frame or letters or something like that, I can make it smaller and it'll fit. I'm going to load a picture. And I'm going to say next. Here's where you crop, and to crop, it's a left click and drag, and here you would, um, your first thread color, but you can adjust that later on. And here I just leave it be. Now you have a palette over here and basically if you scroll over them it tells what they're about and basically um, for sketching I quite often will use the triple stitch but you can also use the motifs and once you've selected the type of pen you want right here are your options and remember you can go into the different groups and choose whatever motifs you want to use. I'm not going to use motifs. I'm going to use a triple stitch. And that has options also. Mine is set to 1.5. Um, I believe the, du the default is 2.0. Um, I'm doing 1.5 simply because it's a little shorter stitch, and if I need to get into a tight place, it works better with a shorter stitch. So I'm going to say OK. There's my pencil. You can see it. Um, here's the color. If I double click the color, I can choose the colors I want. So I'm going to go into my threads. I created my threads in the thread cache, so I know that I'm using threads that I have. Um, I have a video on thread cache, I believe, if you go looking for it in my playlist. And I am going to start out with red. So there's my pen. I could also do satin stitches, but I want to do a regular um, triple stitch because this is a sketch and I'm just going to hold down my left mouse button and very carefully go around and I'm going to let up on the mouse button and then I'm going to do it again very carefully I'm going to go around that circle each time I the reason I am letting up on that mouse button is that if I find I've made a mistake, I can hit the control and the letter Z and it'll take, it'll erase whatever I did back to the last mouse click. Another thing you may want to do is go down here to the zoom button and zoom in. 
on whatever you're working with and you can get a better idea of what your stitches look like. And say I made a mistake like that. All I do is control and the Z and it takes that last stitch away. And see right now it's drawing a two a 1.5 stitch. If I wanted to go up to a two stitch, that's a little bit longer. You can see that that length was longer. Zooming in really lets you see what you're doing. And it's a whole lot easier to control things when you've zoomed in. And then I'm just going to come down across here. Back up. And I'm going to go back down to my 1.5. I saw already that it was getting a little long for what I was doing. And now I can zoom out and zoom back in. Whoops, don't want that. Make sure I got the zoom. And I just erased that stitch that I got up there with the control Z. And grab my pen again. And remember this is a sketch. So you want it to look like a sketch. And the center. And if you find that there's something that you want to erase, there is an eraser. Okay, and the eraser was right here. I'm going to grab my pen again. And I'm going to fill this in just a little bit more. And this and this. The another thing that you need to remember is um, it's going to sew out in the order that you were using this marker. So if I jump from here to here to here to here to here and decide to go down here, your your machine is going to be stitching out all over the place. Um, so basically, that's how you do the sketch. If I wanted to do um, a satin line, that's a huge satin line, but just to show you. Okay. And I don't like that, so control Z. Um, just get in there and play. It's, it's a lot of fun to play with it. You can go up here to look at your life view. You can also, oh, one more thing I wanted to show you. Um, these berries were all red, and I need to make a color change. First, I'm going to zoom in on the leaf. I'll do just this section here.
and to change your color you go right up here to add color and I'm already in my threads and I would like a nice green color again I'm going to do the triple stitch And every time I do a new section of the leaf, I let up on the mouse. Okay, and then I'm going to go to Life View and see what it looks like. And I can also. What I'm going to do is do an export and I'm going to say OK and I'm going to go down to the my Sonic cloud and I'm going to click on my Holly Berries folder. I'm going to say OK right over it and I can file in my regular Premiere Plus embroidery system file insert. I'm going to go out to my cloud. And there it is, Hollyberries. And that's what it would look like. And from there you you can add lettering, you can add a border, whatever you choose. Okay? So, that's my lesson for today. And I hope you'll get in there and Find some cool stuff in Google. Um, just a re little refresher here. If you are um, wanting to find a picture to play with, go into Google. Click up here into the images. Uh, type your F L O W E R flower. Remember, there is a tool section. Here's a usage rights. You want Creative Commons. And type, I would go with a line drawing. And there's flowers, all kinds of flowers that you could work with. You could say, um, holiday, I'm not sure what you'll get. There's a snowman you could work with. You want to start out simple, even just a uh, Santa hat, gingerbread cookie, draw yourself a heart, um, things like that. Things that are really easy to work with to start out with. And go in there and have a whole lot of fun. Thanks. Bye.